Hey guys, welcome to another day on set with Sadie on Freakish. Sadie, aka me. Today, we are doing my first stunt scene, and I don't know how I feel, I'm like really stressed. I didn't get sleep last night. I'm here at 5.30 a.m., and um, I'm gonna fall a lot, and I've never done this before. I'm also meeting the new cast, I'm really stressed out, so come be stressed with me. <laughs> I have my big scene today where I get stabbed in my leg. And I've never been stabbed before, so I have to make it come across like I really got stabbed. So that's gonna be challenging. And this is also new to me. It's like so hard to remember the stunt, the acting, keeping my face, really being in the moment, but applying all the notes that they keep giving each take with my fall. So, and then like making sure my headphones fall out and making sure I look back and making sure it just, it's a lot of like changes and details. And sometimes they'll come in and say, you know what, change that and you'll have to remember it. And, it, it seems so simple, like falling, but it's not, it's complicated. And before we start rolling anything, we block the scenes and we practice because the cameras, like not only do we need to know what we have to do, but the cameras have to know where to focus and where to be on, on different times. So like the cameras have to practice, um, the videographers have to practice, we have to practice. It's, it's a lot that goes into a stunt scene, especially since I'm doing my own stunt. I've never done stunts. The first few times I really hurt my knee, they had to put knee pads on my knees, and then eventually it led to a mat because I think I fell over 40 times. It was a lot. We're rehearsing for my stabbing scene. I've never been stabbed before, so I need to make it seem very realistic. I'm actually not nervous about the fall. I'm really excited because I feel like I always used to say if I was to act, I would be really good at like dramatic stuff. I don't know, I just like, I have nightmares of like getting like stabbed or like something coming from behind me and not knowing it's coming. Like that's what's happening. So it's like, this is my worst fear. So I think I'll sell it pretty well. Good night. So check it out. So it's plastic, but it's, uh, it's a replica after a real one that we're gonna throw off camera. This will be underneath your pants. So they'll, they'll just be a very slight cut in the back of your pants that shows just this. You won't even see this underneath. So you'll, show, you'll see that. You wanna feel what it feels like? Oh. Isn't that neat? That's so weird. now you can feel, you can get the idea of what it's gonna feel like when it goes oh. in your leg. It's like my nightmare. I like when like, like things coming at me that I don't know are coming. And then it's like that sudden shock. It's like, I'm gonna die. Well, now you get to relive your nightmare. Uh, so. I, even without seeing that, it's like, like something, like somebody throws something at you and you don't know it's coming. Like, I don't like that. <laughs> I like to see what's happening, be in control. If I could see it coming, like dodge it. Like not like, like it's out of sight. I'm running from the guy and then he just oh, he throws a knife and he goes oh. All eyes are on me and it's like my stunt, my scene. So it's like it's on me if like everybody has to stand there for like eight takes. They have to stand there for eight takes. If I keep messing up eight times, they're there. Like I feel bad. I'm being a perfectionist. I'm this is totally out of my comfort zone. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm kind of happy I don't have to keep falling on my on my knees. And like my hands hurt too, because when I'm falling, it's not just on my knees, it's on like my hands I'm catching myself. Although it was physically exhausting and frustrating, um, I'm kind of happy with the scene because my character is like a little badass. She gets stabbed, takes the dagger out of her leg and keeps running. So um, I feel like, I feel good about it. So basically this is where I was stabbed and there was a little dagger coming out that I pulled out and there was blood, it was really cool. That part was cool. I, I thought I was good at the, ah, the key to acting and what I've learned is don't think about it. Just really imagine, like, not even imagine, like you are in that scene. You are scared. You are running for your life. You don't know if you're gonna die. You don't expect to be stabbed. When you are, you're like, you know, and then you just, so it's like all like a mental thing. Like you're present. If you're mentally present, it's not acting and it, you just can't overthink it. All right guys, so we just wrapped my falling scene. Yes, I got it done. I cannot wait to get out of these clothes. Put on my t-shirt, comfy, go back to my apartment, take a nap. Um, but yeah, I did it and I'm done. And it was like really relieving when they're like, cut. 
Um, but yeah, you guys should totally check out Freakish to see this epic fall and know what really went on behind that scene.